Europe was hit by the worst drought in 500 years in the summer of 2022. A warning level was in place for 47% of European countries. And there was a clear deficit of soil moisture. The last few years were pretty dry in uh, most of Europe and uh, caused quite a few issues for uh, agriculture and water supplies in, in cities. Particularly in the south of Europe, um, all those countries are already used to kind of dealing with um, uh, prolonged droughts. And um, now we are experiencing more and more of that in water-rich countries of the north. To prevent Europe from suffering massive water shortages in the future, action must be taken. Tossa de Mar in Spain is a community that is repeatedly affected by severe droughts. Here, researchers of a European project called NextGen have installed a plant to produce high-quality water from municipal wastewater. A couple of months ago, the plant started test runs. The researchers use water that comes from a wastewater treatment plant in Tossa. To separate contaminants from the water, it is pumped through a total of three membranes. After that, it is stored in this tank and treated with chlorine. This kills bacteria, viruses and parasites. During the monitoring of the pilot project, we were able to determine that the water we treated meets the legal regulations for treated water and, in fact, also the regulations for drinking water. At the KWR Water Research Institute in the Netherlands, all aspects of water quality, technologies and distribution are being studied. The institute is also coordinating the pilot project. We have demonstrated how you can best recover water energy and nutrients, but at the same time we have also shown the environmental benefits of this, resulting in less pollution and less use of water. But a challenge is that sometimes regulations become too strict and they actually ask that the wastewater is treated to such a high level of quality, almost like drinking water quality, that it becomes um, almost yeah, too challenging and too expensive. In Spain, they have overcome some of these hurdles. The water from the pilot project is already being used to irrigate public areas and private gardens. The reuse of wastewater, following this example, could reduce the pressure on European freshwater supplies.